All right. This is the home on 903 North 12th Street, coming out the back door. This is the home, the new home of a, of the beginning of a permaculture design. This is the back door, walking out the back, we got a little path, the, made of wood chips and, and cardboard to keep the, keep the weeds down and a little fungus growth. Here we are with a little, a very, very low tech rainwater catchment system. Down in the gutter we've got a little kiddie pool catching the water. Got buckets filled up because it overfilled so I just kept filling up the buckets to have a little extra. We're gonna we're gonna fix this guy up good with these uh, 55 gallon drums here. You'll see that later. Got a couple spouts we're gonna we're gonna do that with. Yep. And then here we've got the dog pen. Got a couple dogs in here, and uh, this is our our seed start little little area where we got the seeds starting for the for the garden. Yeah, kept them warm when it was cold. Just put this window on top, keep it warm enough at nighttime. Yeah, here on the pen we've got some we've got some cucumber, some squash, and some some uh, hazelnut bushes growing down here. Um, just to kind of maximize the south side, south facing. This is the south. So this gets a lot of sun, this fence. So we're going to crawl some some beans, some more beans as well. Get some vining plants going up here. Yeah. Walk the path here. It's the back side of the property. We are now entering the garden region. A little path here made of wood chips again. Got this hose. We plan on uh, we plan on using this hose to uh, gravity feed from the rain catchment system out here to the garden, which is awfully convenient. Right here, we got a little. We got the cold season crops because it gets a lot of a lot of uh, shade here. So this this is keeping the garden in here cool. We got some kale, some some mustard greens, kale here. And uh, turnip here. This is all turnip. We had some peas. It's a little hot for the peas. You can see they're they're dying off now. It's time for them. We're letting them go to seed to save the seed. Got some broccoli in here. Some broccoli, broccoli radish has gone to seed and uh, lettuce on the other side. You can see here's the entrance to the garden. Um, here we've got a little little wrap around, a little keyhole design here. We're, Introducing a little a little flow in here. Here you can see this is the entrance so we can reach we can reach all sides of the garden here. And then the other walkway around here too. I like it. Looks like a little mushroom, I think. Yeah. Here's a bunch of uh, beets and uh, that is uh, broccoli in here. More peas, more peas growing up here. We'll be planting uh, Malabar spinach here pretty soon. Carrots, carrots and carrots and lettuce right in here. Yeah, we had a bunch of poison ivy growing in here, so we're covering all up with uh, cardboard and paper. No more poison ivy, hopefully. Garbanzos, we got garbanzos right in here. All garbanzos from here to here, and then we've got dragon's tongue, bush beans, and then we planted corn in there. Some corn will come up grow in there. Yeah. And uh, this is the rest of the garden. Basically the structure of the garden. We uh, dug up we dug up the the walkways. This is really good earth here. We're working with really good Iowan soil. We're in Fairfield, Iowa and we dug up the pathways. Got that good soil and scooped it up on top of the garden beds dug down to the subsoil layer and put a bunch of wood chips and boards there's actually boards and wood chips in here to get encourage the fungus growth in here so all of this is just a bunch of wood chips cardboard and and uh, carbon material for for awesome uh, mushroom growth um, we did that with the whole garden basically um, the garden 
this this was all mapped out here before when we got here on the property but it had basically not been able to have been taken care of people the the people here before mapped out the garden but they uh they weren't able to really care for it the way that they'd like to and it was full of weeds and basically we just kind of mapped out and made these beds these beds that suited our style we've got potatoes in here we're doing a, a pretty cool little potato design here we're uh, taking mulch we put, planted t potatoes too close together on purpose and we're just mulching them mulching 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 and there's going to be in that mulch there's going to be a bunch of little potatoes all in there pretty excited about that we got a raised bed over there with uh, with um, let's go in here got a raised bed here with some climbing squash on the edge here got some nasturtiums they're a companion they keep away uh, the the bad guy bugs and got some comfrey right here on the edge some cucumbers growing up this fence here so these climbing squash will come up the fence got some melons in there and some watermelon growing more potatoes same style potatoes got the three sisters bed here out here and uh, Let's introduce you to the master of the garden, Shiva. This is Shiva. Hello, Shiva. Jai. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, he's overseeing the garden. This is his garden. And, uh, he governs what goes on here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, welcome to the garden. Welcome to Shiva's garden. We've got, over here, we've got, we've got some more, uh, watermelon and squash over here. This, this was, um, a whole bunch of leaves here um, were covering this so there was no real uh, vegetation growing here we took advantage of that by um, making humps uh, making big uh, um, hills in the soil and planting cucumber and we've plant and we put this paper that I got from a, a job that would have been trash, I use the paper, we're using the paper to keep down the weeds so that they can sprawl out and, and use their space. There's the bunnies in the garden, how they love the garden. <laughs> Got This is an apple tree here. Got a perennial here. Luckily, Lucky for us, renting. Got a nice, nice big apple tree. Got a peach tree growing out of the corner of the raised bed. Cherry growing out of the corner. Pear behind. There's a pear tree back here. And a cherry tree there. And also another chair right there. Yeah. So this is the garden area. This is kind of the, the end zone. Um, almost zone two. We've got a fire pit for some social socializing, a little barbecue, some benches. And uh, let's walk over to the compost. Got tomatoes and Companion tomato, green pepper, basil, squash. This is mostly, mostly annual. Up here along the trellises, we've got be pole beans growing along the trellises. You'll see those later. Here's another squash and kale bed. We get some good shade here, so the kale's doing well. And the the uh, squash will hopefully climb. Back here, we've got a little path here. And uh, here's our compost pile. This compost has been aged, has been doing well over the winter time, and it is it is pretty much ready at this point to throw in the garden. We've been we've been using it on everything we plant. So here's our new compost pile. Starting a new one. Got these guys. We'll make a nice recipe here pretty soon. All right. Welcome to the garden. Welcome to welcome to 903 North 12th Street. Patrick Murph, Patrick Murphy signing off here. And uh, thanks for your time. See ya.